Nova Scotia's Annapolis Valley is well known for its blossoming apple orchards and now booming wine industry. But with each passing season, farmers are faced with the threat of extreme weather conditions brought on by climate change. Within the sprawling greenhouses at Kentville's Research and Development Center, government scientists like Vicki Levesque are experimenting with new approaches to combat risks like extended periods of drought. One of them is biochar. Levesque says humans first used biochar in the form of charcoal in the Brazilian Amazon as a byproduct from cooking, mixed with broken pottery, excrement, bones, and organic waste. The soil there became highly fertile with potential for long-term carbon sequestration. Nowadays, the use of chemical fertilizer in our corner of the world can do the opposite and degrade soil quality, leaving researchers looking for ways to help improve the soil properties and make agriculture sustainable. It will increase the, the microbial activity, but it will also increase the microbial um, diversity and it can promote the beneficial microorganisms for the plant growth so we can reduce the fertilizer because the microorganisms will play a role to allow nutrient uh, nutrient for the plant growth. So Biochar is good at retaining water and in years where there is drought a plant's root system will search the soil and grow through the biochar particle. The biochar also creates more porous space in the soil with more aeration. The carbon in the biochar is very stable, which improves the sequestration of carbon in the soil, so it could help reduce the emission of CO2 in the atmosphere as opposed to nitrous oxide, a potent greenhouse gas emitted when manure is applied. Crops using biochar wouldn't see an effect in the first year, but Levesque says they would in the second and third. For now, she'll continue to experiment in these greenhouses.